All right, welcome back for some more Magic Farm 2 on Minecraft 164. And I am in process of getting moved out of Heidi Hole and over to the new digs. So, uh, got the chests all cleared out, and I got the chest over here with all the metals cleared out. Well, pretty much. Uh, and Mr. Luggage here is full of stuff right now, so I'm going to just drop him in here for the moment. Because what I wanted to do is use this portable tank to empty this out, but I can't seem to get it to work without a fluid duct. So I put it on the top and put it in input mode, that didn't work. Put it on the bottom and put it in input mode, that didn't work. Put it on the side and put it in input mode, didn't work. So what I'd like to do is make a fluid duct, which takes copper and lead. We already have copper. Um, we should finally be able to dig lead, so let's... Just do a little bit of mining, as I hit my head every step there, apparently. And, um, yeah, now that I can get all sorts of different ores, I thought I'd record while I do a little bit of mining here. Do I leave? Oh, I got just a little bit of cobble on me. I'll have to dig some more. Uh, okay, so there's that zombie spawner. That's going to be around to the left here. Yes. So, I've already got some of the stuff out of this area, but here we go. All right, so some new stuff. Bam, Cinnabar. Got that. Uh, we can use that for thong craft and making quicksilver. Of course, amber we saw we can already get. I think we should be able to get surge quartz. Yes. All right, so we're going to need a good amount of this stuff so that we can get the applied energistics system going. Uh, at any rate, so, yeah, there's a little bit of tin up here. We'll just do just do a little bit of mining here. Really just looking for, like, one piece of lead. And we would be set for, um, oh my goodness, come on. Is it always this slow going through water? <laughs> I guess. Uh, if we can just find one piece of lead, we can get that fluid duct made, and then, uh, be able to get that lava out of there. You know, once we get a good source of lava, it won't be that big a deal. Okay, nothing infernal, nothing special or deadly. Just a couple of regular mobs so far. Oops. Did he just triple shoot? Oh no, there we go. There's a bunch of them. Oh! Is there a spawner? Hey, I mean, I'd like... I wouldn't mind finding a skeleton spawner. Yeah, look at that. Double spawner. Ooh, it's something shooting fire. Okay, let's get back here a bit. Oh, they're fighting. Okay, good. Grab that bow. Alright, winner. Winner. I got winner. Come on, guys. Who's gonna win? Probably the one way. Oh, no. This guy right here. Bam. Look at that. Alright, so I got one torch in there. Now, again, infernal mobs are bad. So if something boss mob kind of thing shows up, we can be in a world of hurt here. That's why digging is interesting in this mob pack. Okay, let's get these. They're down in the water, apparently. You're not infernal, but you did have a good bow. Oh, power one bow. We'll take that. Still got that Gatling bow, but I never had enough um, arrows to really want to use it, so. Light up all the things. Okay, tin. Let's see if we can get this lit up a little better. Oh, uh, no, we can't. Alright. Use this corner. So this, I don't know what that second spawner is. It looks like that's a, one of those fire launcher things. Can I get... Yeah, there we go. I'd like to keep the skeleton spawner, though. Oh, and an infernal. Okay, he's going to burn me. Fortunately, there's water right here. I did not see what he's got on him. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's a lot of words. <laughs> ah, come on, out of the water. Move, move, move. Quick sand sprint, something, something, something. No. We don't want him. And I'm going the wrong direction. Dang it. 
Okay, so I'm down to three hearts. Oh boy. I don't see any lead. And messing with that skeleton spawner was a terrible idea. Let's see if I can quicksand sprint my way out of here. Come on. I can't sprint. Why can't I sprint? I guess I'm just not getting it going off the uh, off the stairs there. Okay. Um, well, let's try down here. Because, like I said, I did go around and I have dug around some stuff. But we weren't able to get lead earlier, so... Are we still well fed? Yeah. Good. There's some more copper. This is where I died that one time, right up there. Oh yeah, and this was the super ghastly explosive slime of whatever the heck it was. More tin. Gosh. Do I need to be down lower for lead? You guys know? I don't remember. Hmm. Trying to keep from too much spawning around. I like to keep the torches on the right so when I go back out I know I always look for them on the left. Yeah. I know I'm passing up tons of ores, but uh, on a mission here. Okay. Just a simple slime, no splitting in half and turning into evil zombie, not zombie, evil ghastly killer slime, so that's cool. Light that up a little better. You know, we may need to be down lower, and um, well, we're at 38, jeez. Seems per plenty low, doesn't it? Here. Here's lower. I hear a skeleton now. Did I just come around in a circle and cut back to that infernal guy? I see him on the map. I don't know. Paradox! I bet we can get that. Alright. So that's the biomes of plenty one. You can make tools out of that, and it's used for the staff. Oh, there's a silverfish block. Those darn things are everywhere. Uh, for a staff that will open a portal to the promised land. Uh, this looks dark. Oh, another fire spawner, and oh, that's part of the. Oh, we're back at the abandoned mine. Okay, I remember this place. Now, that's silver or tin, yes. I have not really messed around down here. I'm going to break this guy real quick. Redstone. Oh, I should get that. Yeah, let's grab that. Oh, those are... Some of those are silver fish blocks. Yeah, our first redstone. Cool, huh? That's probably a cave spider. Grab this before I forget. And we got a couple stacks of iron. I really just want one piece of lead. And then I want to get out of here. Oh, okay. Chaos shards we do definitely need. There's three more shards we need. We need chaos, uh, water, and air, I think it was. Okay, well, that's a little scary up there. Could be stuff falling down on us. Actually, that should be... Oh, jeez. Made me jump there. There's fire shards. I think we already have fire shards. All right, come on. One piece of lead. One piece of lead. That's all I want. Right now. Oh, I hear lava. I see skellies. Yeah. Jeez. Not really sure I want to dig around in an abandoned mine too much yet. You know, the other option is there's a ravine 
that we never really went through that might have some uh, lead exposed. Maybe. Alright, I was going to look at this guy at least. Try to walk past twice, I know. Oh, and we're about out of... Uh... Oh, I saw him. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh boy. I am really glad you are not infernal. Whew. Uh, about out of gravel and flint, so... Grabbing a little bit here wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's see what's here. Aluminum ore berry, don't really care at the moment. And that's a dead end. Uh, let me just break you and you. Apparently my backpack's full, but fortunately we have a knapsack. Yay! Okay, are you lead? You're not lead. You're silver or something. Ooh, chest. Or silver. All right, so apparently this episode's going to be digging all the things, exploring the abandoned mine shaft. Ah, look at that. Lead. While we look for one single piece of lead. But there it is. Just got it. All right. So we're lit up here. Let's see what's in there. A diamond, a safari net, and a saddle. Cool. We can we can do those. Use those. That's good stuff. Piece of aluminum. Oh, that breaks right through the the next up next side. Next uh, tunnel. That's what I was trying to say. These mine shafts. I mean, even in vanilla, these mine shafts can get kind of nasty sometimes with those cave spiders and stuff. So here's another piece of lead and another piece of this. Oh, okay, I hear bad things. Yeah, so I don't want to go too far, but definitely got the lead we were looking for. All right, let's get out of here. So, torches on the left. I see cave spiders on the mini-map to the right there. Let's stay away from those. Any other nearby, easy-to-get goodies? No, not there. Not there. Tin. And silver. Sure. Sure nothing will jump us while we're grabbing these last three pieces, right? 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 Never say things like that, guys, because then it's totally going to happen. Although, I guess we got lucky right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Damn, that's fine. Oh, why am I going to leave it sitting right here? That's why I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Scary. Okay, seriously. Let's get out of here. Definitely don't dig more things because it's time to go. Hi, guy. And now all the zombies within a million miles are going to come after me. Thanks to the new and improved wonderful AI. Oh, I hear. Yeah, bad things. Bad things, bad things. Okay, here we go. Torches on the left. Torches on the left. Here we go. Tin. We got a fair amount of tin now. Still good for XP though, so it's good. But uh, yeah, just digging in this this mod pack is a little scary. Keeps you on your toes. Uh, torches on the left, so up here. That looks a little dark to me. Okay, here we go. Up, up, up the ladder. Oh, this is where we had that. Um, Standoff with the, the was that the slime? Yeah, I think it was. That was a scary slime. The double life extra regen, ghastly something something. I actually put it in the notes, I believe. All right, so I got to process said lead said lead. 
process the lead first. So let's just throw that in there. Do I put any in here? No. Oh, it's going to make a mess. Too many extra things that we weren't supposed to be getting until we got to the new house. So, yeah, there's life. That's life. All right, so I did make this uh, trash can. We don't need a broken bow or a broken bow or... Uh, yeah, we probably don't even need a, a regular bow right now. Um, this is worth like one nugget of aluminum, so I'm going to throw that away. These are everywhere, and I'm probably not going to use it, so let's throw that away. And I already moved three stacks of rotten flesh, so let's get rid of that. All right, so we got some lead. Good. Uh, how much did we get? 14. So I can do one block and then I'll have to get the ingot cast out. And I think Mr. Luggage has the ingot cast right now. So let's get him out. Yes. And then uh, I'm going to get the lava out of this thing and tear it apart and move it all over to the new place. Okay, so we got what five, so that's not enough for another block, but we can just do our five here. And while that's happening, two copper and uh, uh, who's got it? That's bronze. So do you have it? Yes. Two copper, copper, copper. There we go. Copper and one. Lead will give us a couple of fluid ducts. Copper, copper, and lead. Fluid ducts. And I'm hoping now that we can pop this guy on here. Let's empty out the smeltery because we don't want to pump the lead out. We want to pump the lava out. If this doesn't work, I don't know. I, you can just break the controller and the lava will disappear, I think. But I was just trying to keep it around. So, okay. Here we go. Come on. There we go. So, he's got that guy back. Let's grab the portable tank out of here. And our wrench, or hammer, I guess it is. And it's got a blue top, so bam. Will that work? If I so it's got 1900 in it. If I right click, oh, and it's going to need a redstone signal because they changed how that works. So let's get a lever. So if I put a lever here, bam, there you go. Ta seared tank is now empty, and this guy has what we wanted to get. I guess in the end I only saved a couple buckets of lava, but yeah, whatever. It's good. Okay, cool. So, I got a bunch of extra stuff I didn't expect to get, which is going to make probably an extra trip back and forth, because I got one of this and two of that and one of that and three of those and whatever. Uh, but you know what? That's all cool. I'll, I'll do the extra trip and get this all moved down. And then uh, after that, I want to tear this all apart, of course. After that, I'm going to build up the smeltery at the other end, and I'll kind of show you what's going on down there. So we'll be back after. All right, just slept through the night for the probably the last time here in Heidi Hole. Uh, obviously, the smeltery is all torn down, sitting in my inventory, ready to be moved over. Mr. Luggage is ready to roll. Got almost everything torn down. Leave a just a couple little things here in case uh, come back for some reason. Uh, grab the berries. You know, eventually I'll probably um, dig these up, bring the berry bushes with us, bring uh, plant some sugar cane down there. Oh, I suppose we can harvest the apples. Kind of last, last go around for the... Uh... Did you just go yum, 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 yum? Did he make a funny noise? Okay, come here, guy. Did you? You didn't eat my apples, did you? Where are you going? Oh, you're trying to get that out of the water, I guess. Okay. Did 
Did you? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> That's awesome. Nom, 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 nom. All right, he did it better than I did, but whatever. All right, here we go. Here we go. Off to the new place with the smeltery. Ready to go. I did a couple of improvements over here uh, since last recording, I think. So I recorded something and it didn't work out and I came back later. So I don't think you've seen this. Anyway. Um, or deleted that and did it again. Any rate, so yeah, it's got a, a little bit more glass. Maybe I showed that. I don't remember. Anyway, put a little glass on the top, kind of break up the uh, oak, put in some skylights, and um, put this guy in. So I just kind of did something real quick and dirty for now. It's a big square. It has no windows. It has no character of any kind, but there we go. And I did steal the... Uh, here he is. I say, where's where's Mr. Luggage? But there he is. I did steal the iron uh, door from Heidi Hole. I have not made another one yet. Come here, guy. So he, he has a little trouble getting through doors and stuff. Um, but it's all cool. So I think, you know, again, I'm going to expand this out and make this whole area uh, part of the, the main house. So eventually this whole wall will go away or actually get moved back here. We'll put the picture window in here so we can see the nice sunset and all that. I had this, I don't know, little extra room to expand if we want. And I think I said something about Ars Magica earlier, taking having some big multi-blocks. Uh, that's true, but there's no Ars, Ars Magica in this mod pack, at least. Um, but Thumbcraft, yeah, that'll that'll take a pretty good amount of space. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and set this guy up here. I guess I didn't do the floor yet. Um, that's probably okay. So that corner, definitely not going to want anything on it. For the moment, I could do over here. Or I could kind of do over here. But once we expand and blow this wall out, um, I'm thinking having the controller and stuff on this side might be better. So let's do that. All right, I got three more bricks for some reason. Oh, is that really how I had it set up? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to make some more grout and make a second level to this. Yeah, definitely going to do that. I'm going to make some more grout, make a second level, and I'm just going to stick a slab there so that nothing falls back here, or if it does, you can uh, get in there, or get back out, I mean. Uh, okay, well, what else do we got to set up here? We'll just set up a couple things real quick, but yeah, I'm going to make some more grout, get a second level going, and the nice thing about that is then you can put the... Uh, where are they? The drain. You can put the drain up on the second level and then put the basin under it and the basin will be at the right height. So uh, definitely going to have to get some more for that. And probably should do something about this ground. I mean, we can just leave it as uh, grass or dirt or whatever for the moment if we wanted, but yeah, maybe do something a little nicer. All right, tool forge. Where's the? Where, where, where? Do you have it, Mr. Luggage? There you go. Pattern chest. Oh, and you got a bunch of patterns too. So I think, yeah, let's make this wall kind of the patterns and tool forge and stuff. All right, so stencil table, pattern chest, part builder, tool forge. That's the one we'll use the most. So we'll put the stencil table way back in the corner here and then uh, yeah let's grab all the stencils and blank patterns I gotta do this again nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh that, that that's funny I have gotta just thank whoever did that I forget is that Mikey 
I know half of the people from watching Direwolf's videos, or know half of the names of the people from watching Direwolf's videos now, but I always forget. Open Blocks. Is that? That might be Mikey Moo. I forget. If it's not Mikey, sorry for whoever it is. I'm totally forgetting who uh, who did Open Blocks. All right. Well, no, not really much point in trying to build all that up right now because uh, I want to get definitely get some uh, some more seared bricks. I'm sure we've got stuff to make grout, and it'll take just a little bit to uh, to get that all cooked up and get seared bricks going and figure out where to put all the different pieces. So I'll just I'll do that off camera and get that ready to go. Whoa. And again, this uh, this is just temporary. I don't know if, I think that might have got cut off the last episode. Yeah, I was trying to add music through YouTube and that did not work. Uh, at one point I couldn't position it. At another point it looked like it was good, but then when it went through, the original audio was gone, even though it wasn't supposed to be gone. And I don't know, it just didn't work out. Anyway, the, yeah, so any my point was this is just temporary we're gonna level this off and uh, make a better farm for the berries and for other stuff here soon uh, but man I, I want to go get myself going down and digging now that I can make uh, now that we can dig diamond because I definitely want to get some diamonds going and uh, we'll do that right after I get smeltery controller smeltery put back together so I think that's gonna about do it for this episode where you at guy where you at come here there you go. Good job. Come here. Yeah. All right. I think that's going to about do it for this episode. And uh, next time, hopefully, it will be time to go digging. See you then.